Welcome to Tech Notice. In this video, we're going to be talking about the best bang for buck creator PC. Because creator PCs aren't exactly the same as gaming PCs. And when talking of best bang for buck, that means the best performance for your money. Because sometimes you can upgrade too much and lose money, or sometimes you can actually get a lower end part, but it's still not best bang for buck because even if you spend extra five, ten dollars, you'd get so much more performance for your dollar. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing in this video. So if you are in a search for a good performance, create a PC, then this video is for you. And this has been recorded in August, 2022. So all the parts are very, very good price. But do you know what else is good? This sponsored segment from Squarespace helps you to take your business to the next level by creating your own web presence. Perhaps finally you can launch that passion project you've been putting off for so long. Creating a website through Squarespace is as simple as playing with Legos. They've got tons of high quality custom templates that you can adjust to fit your style. Whether you wanna sell your product online, take bookings, or have a professional online portfolio, Squarespace websites give you the access to all the important analytics and SEO tools to make sure that your story reaches as many people as possible. If you still feel like you need help with your website, Squarespace pride itself with 24-7 customer service. Learn more about Squarespace and their free trial in the description below. Go to squarespace.com forward slash tech notice to get a 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thanks Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's jump right in. There's two very important things that you most likely are going to see in the comment section below. People are going to be like, how do I know how to build this? Because you're not building this in this video. And I'm going to leave the build guides in the description below so if you just click on that little arrow it will take you down and you'll see build guide for the whole videos so i'm gonna leave like i think three in there there are like hour long videos so if you don't know how to build a pc if you've done it for the first time or you want to do it for the first time literally follow those it will show you by wire by everything what you need to do to build a pc and actually install os and drivers and everything you can find it in the description below secondly all the parts that I'm talking about, you can find in the description below as well. And I'm gonna take it a bit step further. If you click on my links, they actually give you options of a few different shops in your local area. Some of them might not be available for your for your shipping, but if you're in the US, for example, or in North America, then there's a few shops that you can check the prices from. And by the time you are watching this video, the prices might have changed or cheaper in another shop. So just literally click on the link and then find the shop that you like or does shipping for you, see the part which is cheaper over there, and then you'll get the cheapest price in there. So all the parts I'm mentioning in this video you can find in the description below as well as some of the upgrade or downgrades just to fit this build to your budget a bit more. So firstly the CPU. As a creator you want something that's fast in single core and multi-core performance. Obviously you know somewhere in there there's a best bang for buck and I have chosen the 12600K which is just absolutely amazing processor. Now if you don't know how good this is then this i5 12th gen processor is better than any of the previous generation Intel processors. I'm talking about even the i9 from 11th gen processors or the 10th gen. This one is better in single and multi-core performances. In some of the multi-core performances, I think the 10900K is better because it has more threads, but in like 99% of the time, 12600K is better. And the single core is so much better in a 12600K. But please don't make these two mistakes from this processor. You might be thinking, what if I go with a 12600? No, because that is only a six core processor, whereas the 12600K is a 10 core processor. 12600 doesn't have the four efficiency cores and believe me those four efficiency cores are very very powerful like very very powerful so please go with 12600k and you might be thinking what if i go with 12600kf because you know igpu i'm gonna have a dedicated gpu anyway please don't do that the igpu has some killer encoders inside there that can work together with your dedicated graphics card and video graphics card for example if you are a video editor if you're doing photo editing probably doesn't matter so much and 3d doesn't matter so much but if you are doing any part of a video editing then the igpu makes a huge difference so don't make um, you know mistake there if you do want to upgrade a little bit i'd probably upgrade to 12700k and then just have a look and um, you know what's the price difference and most likely this is going to be the part where you're going to see the most performance increase in your workflow so if you're thinking what should i be upgrading first in this price list i'd probably go with 12700k or 12900k because they would be the biggest performance you would actually see in your workflow if you're photo video 3d you know whatever creator and in terms of town grade i'd probably go with 
12400 or 12500 depends which uh, one is like a better price for you 12400 most likely is a much cheaper one that's the processes next of all we're talking about the motherboards where all the components come together and this is the point where you have a lot of options and a lot of people have different opinions now when we're talking about best bank for buck you can get a motherboard that just connects all your parts together like the cpu ram you know all your storage and so on but doesn't have a lot of features in terms of uh, io for example fast usb ports or fast usb front panel usb c port or uh, video output through a usb c of the motherboard and for that reason i'm going with the gigabyte aero g z690 ddr4 motherboard at the moment i'm looking at this this is 249 dollars which is a really really good price for this because when i made uh, this best bank for buck video earlier on in this year um i've used the same motherboard a lot of people i can see through my links have bought this and it was over 300 dollars so now this is very very good price if you're looking at the competition you can get for something cheaper like if you go with gigabyte gaming x ddr4 motherboard it has a little bit less ports and so on but this one is creator focused motherboard and in terms of the 12th gen motherboards it's not that expensive but has a lot of awesome features like you have four pci gen 4 m.2 slots and all of them can run full fat speed without any compromises there's no like switches that oh you lose some of the you know sata ports or something else or something that like all of them full speed that's amazing you have six sata ports you have really fast usb-c ports in the back of the motherboard as well as the front panel connector which is actually 20 gigabits in speed which is super super fast and you can get video output through there as well and it does have thunderbolt 4 support if you add a thunderbolt 4 card add-in card so for example if you are a musician or someone who really needs thunderbolt 4 on the you know motherboard as well then you can buy that extra and then plug it in there and you have that as well None of the 12th gen motherboards that are DDR4 offer actually Thunderbolt 4. You have to have DDR5 to have Thunderbolt 4, which is just a weird quirk because I was looking for a motherboard that has Thunderbolt 4 for 12th gen and DDR4 and they just don't exist apparently. But some of them do have Thunderbolt add-in cards if you want that. And this is just very, very good price. That's why I'm going with this one. But I do want to mention, if you are not bothered so much about like the fast USB-C ports, maybe just a lot of connectivity and you want a little bit more, just like a cheap motherboard, basic motherboard, I'm going to leave some in the description below as well. Like there's some from MSI and some B660 motherboard that have maybe less faster M.2 slots and so on. So you can find them in the description below as well. But I think you're going to lose a lot of features and a lot of things in the future when your business grows as a creator you grow you need more storage you can easily just you know work with this platform because changing the motherboard in the future is going to be very hard that's why we're going with this one now let's talk about ram for this motherboard or for this pc now i have chosen the team group t force vulcan z ddr4 and this is a 64 gigabyte kit and this is 3600 megahertz cl18 and if you know about pc part you might be thinking cl18 that's like that's like not very good is it actually if you look at my ddr4 versus ddr5 comparison i did a test with ddr4 3200 3600 speeds and also cl16 and cl18 latency and to be honest the difference wasn't that big you can go and have a look and cl18 was actually faster in a lot of the cases than cl16 because i don't know i don't know why you can get something faster but honestly for creators it's not going to make that much of a difference for a creator you're going to be benefiting a lot more from the capacity of the ram rather than like 200 extra megahertz of the ram or so on but this will be very good bang for buck it's going to be like quite fast ddr4 you're not going to have issues that the motherboard's going to be not running it or it's going to be timed so fast that it's going to lose like stability or so on so it will run very very well this is very cheap like $200 for 64 gigabytes it's absolutely ridiculous now I'll leave a few other options in the description below if you want to go with maybe some RGB you have to pay extra like $10 or so from I think there was Viper um P patriot viper where is it patriot viper steel or oh, extra five dollars if you want rgb exactly the same as like spec ram but just a little bit more rgb if you fancy that but 64 gigabytes will give you a lot of flexibility having lots of tabs open working like video and photo editing at the same time doing lots of things at the same time but if you do want to save a little bit maybe like hundred dollars or so you could go uh, with 32 gigabytes it's still okay but honestly 64 gigabytes will be 
much, much, much better. I'm doing video editing. I can easily see more than 64 gigabytes used in Premiere Pro. DaVinci Resolve doesn't use that much RAM if you're using DaVinci Resolve. But for photo editing, like Lightroom, Photoshop, and so on, a lot of RAM is very good as well because a lot of the photo editing goes through RAM and a lot of stuff gets um, kind of stacked on RAM and memory. So 64 gigabytes will be very good for you as a creator as well. Now the SSDs and storage. Okay, so I'm gonna give like the base storage system kind of uh, configuration here for this PC. So that will be 500 gigabytes for the OS and programs, which is kind of enough for that. You're not gonna have a lot of space to like store documents or folders or other things in there. So make sure that you do move them somewhere else because it's, it will be basically for programs and you know operating system and so on. Secondly, project drive will be one terabyte in size. So for the OS drive, we're going with the Black Western Digital Black S. 770. It's a Gen 3 drive, but honestly, we're talking about best bang for buck, so we want the best performance for our money. It's $54 it's gonna be plenty fast for our speeds. And then for the project drive, we're actually gonna go with one terabyte silicon power US 70 drive, which will be Gen 4 speeds. So it's gonna be a bit faster if you need to transfer like files on there really, really fast and so on. And very good terabytes written spec if you transfer like large files constantly there as a creator, video creator, 3D or photo, you put lots of large files on there. It's gonna be great for that as well. So these two will be super fast. Now you can exchange them as well and you get one terabyte of the silicon power as the OS drive as well and so on because you've got lots of there as well or get two terabyte as the project drive or add secondary project drive there because I'm only filling two slots. You've got extra two free on the motherboard and they can all be gen 4 speeds. So if you want something best bang for buck, I think the silicon power US 70, it's hard to beat that price. You can go higher and so on as well and different drives, lots of them. You can find a few different options in the description below as well, but these will be the best bang for buck for create a PC. Now the cooling for this uh, PC. I have chosen this a Thermal Riot Peerless Assassin 120 and this is absolutely ridiculous cooler at the moment i'm looking at this there is 41 dollars and 30 it costs here plus i'm getting three dollars off with the coupon so i'm actually gonna pay about 38 dollars for this and this is one of the best air coolers that you can get it's very close to the noctua nhd u15s U15, NHD15s that are like, I don't know, more than twice as expensive as this one. It's ridiculously powerful cooler. So if you want the best bank for buck cooler, it's very hard to beat this one. And if you're wondering why you're not going liquid cooled, honestly, this will beat a lot of the liquid coolers out there as well. You don't need to worry about, oh, is my cooler going to be leaking? Literally just plug it in, forget about it. It's going to be solid, cooler, absolutely amazing, amazing cooler. You can get it for different colors. And if you want to pay a little bit extra and maybe you have extra $5 to spare, you can get RGB for this, get it white and black and so on. But best plan for the work for $38, you can't find a better cooler. Now the power supply. I have chosen the Thermaltake Tough Power GF1 850 watt power supply. This is 80 plus power efficient uh, power supply. This is where we're gonna have to a little bit change our thinking now. I honestly think as a creator, if you pay in your own electricity bills, you shouldn't get lesser than 80 plus uh, power efficiency rating for your um, power supplies because electricity prices are absolutely through the roof all around the world. So this will save you a little bit of money in the long run. Don't go with the bronze or anything below. Look for 80 plus gold minimum. If you want to spend a little bit more, you know, obviously there are options for that, but this will be a very, very good option. Now, this is only $90 and it's hard to beat that price. At the moment, this is ridiculous price. I'm hoping you're getting this deal there as well, just in case you don't have it. I'm going to leave a few options there as well, but look at that 10 year warranty. It's a very, very good power supply with good warranty good upgrade paths as well if you want to go with higher end gpus or something that draws a bit more power add a second gpu you might be able to do that with this power supply as well so you're not completely like capping yourself basically there is evga power supply that i found on a deal as well it's five dollars more expensive just in case this one goes out i'm going to leave it in the description as well and then last of all there is the case now you can just look for the cases and there's so many different options and to find the best bang for buck cases you can like look endlessly but 
I looked around a little bit and I I didn't go with my usual route. Usually I'm suggesting like a Corsair or something 4000D or something because they're like very, very good and affordable. But I found this case over here. So this is the Vetro AL600 black case. And if you don't know, Vetro has done very, very good budget, like best bang for buck air coolers previously and some, air, uh, you know, AIOs as well. But they apparently have a case. This comes with six fans and three of them are RGB and with the coupon actually attached to the price as well. I'm getting this at $99, which is very, very good. I'm looking at the airflow. It's got airflow going through everywhere. So if you go in air cooling with the PC, it's absolutely fantastic. Plus it's like a gray color. So the cooler will go with it as well. It's absolutely amazing. There are some other options if you want like a little more, maybe, you know, better brand kind of thing. There is a Fantex Eclipse a P360A here for $99. Then we have a Zalman T7, which is actually a lot cheaper here for $55. I quite like this case if you're looking for something very, very cheap. And then there's some, this Musitech ATX PC case that you can get for $90. And it also comes with six fans, but they are RGB, ARGB fans. So if you do like RGB, you can go for that one, but I'm not like that big of a fan from RGB. It looks a little bit of like a, you know, copy of the Fantex Enthu Evolve X case, you know, the Walter White PC case that we had over there. And now we have the last thing, the GPU. What GPU should you be getting? And at this point, if you've gone exactly with the parts I have chosen for you, you're alone around $1,100. Depending like what you're gonna do. If you're gonna be a photographer, just go with the cheapest GPU you can find. Like RTX 3050 is completely fine. If you're doing video editing, or maybe a little more 3D rendering. I highly recommend you go check out the full GPU buying guide and the GPU benchmarks where all the 30 series GPUs have been benchmarked so you know like what kind of performance increase you're gonna get. I have chosen the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte version for this because like there's two jumps in the GPU scale of things from 3050 to 3060 there's a big jump and from 3060 to 3060 Ti there's a little bit of a jump. And then another big jump is from 3070 to 3080 and then 3070 Ti to 3080, there's, there's a big jump there because we're getting a lot more VRAM, which is gonna be actually very, very useful these days. Like eight gigabytes starts to get a little bit small for us. So I have chosen the 3080 with the 12 gigabyte version. There's a few options here. I've seen the Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 3080 with a 12 gigabyte GDDR6X, which is $780 here on Amazon. Then another one on Amazon I have found is the MSI Ventus 12 gigabyte version RTX 3080 and that's uh, $770. So a little bit cheaper, $10 cheaper if you want that one as well. It's a little bit more basic, but then actually the Ventus, if I'm going to the US site of Newegg, if you go check this on Newegg, then you can actually get it for $740 after the $30 rebate card. So this card will be absolutely amazing. If you are doing video editing in DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna love that 12 gigabytes of VRAM, even in Premiere Pro video editing, so on, 3D, it's gonna be a different game when, when you're having this as well. So I highly recommend you check out this one. But if your budget is not that much, because at the moment we're getting like about 18 or $1,900 in terms of the whole budget of the PC. If you're getting there and you're thinking, do you know what, ah, this is a little bit more expensive. Honestly, go with 3060. It's gonna be amazing. Especially if you're like a beginner, video editor, photographer, Photographer, go 3050, don't even listen to me. This is overkill, 3060 is overkill. But for video editing, maybe 3D, 3060 is gonna be an amazing card for you. Just go with that one. It's gonna be much cheaper. I'm gonna leave it linked in the description below as well. So my friends, this is the best bang for book. Create a PC for you. Hopefully this was helpful for you. I just wanna mention that the links for all of the parts are in the description below. And if you're watching this a little bit later, maybe some new parts have been you know, released and you're thinking, oh, is this gonna be so much worse? But actually these prices will go even further down. And I think this will be even more best bang for book performance. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.